I think that everyone here would be in agreement that there is a huge refugee crisis and that the world is not addressing this crisis adequately. I think we would all agree that the treatment of refugees and those seeking asylum on Manus and Nauru is despicable. So I want to talk about three things that we can all do to make positive change. Firstly, come to rallies. It may seem that we are constantly protesting for the rights of refugees and those seeking asylum, but remember South Africa's apartheid. It seems eternal, but it fell due to protests, rallies, and grassroots campaigns. Yeah! Secondly, write to your MP, write to the Newcastle Herald, write to your neighbour, provide them with the facts, educate our leaders and our community. A favourite saying of mine is, the eyes cannot see what the mind does not know. If politicians and our community do not know that these people are people just like us, people that have families and jobs and get the groceries and do ordinary things, but they're people that are fleeing unimaginable terror. If politicians and our communities believe the propaganda that refugees and those seeking asylum are dangerous, then they do not know who they truly are. And how can they see them as refugees and those truly needing asylum? The eyes cannot see what the mind does not know. Thirdly, we need to keep going. We need to support each other in this slog to bring justice to refugees, refugees and those seeking asylum. Unfortunately, we're in a marathon, not a sprint, and we need to keep going, keep pushing, so that our voices and the voices of those in detention are heard. I have no doubt that by standing together and calling for the humane treatment of refugees and those seeking asylum, that we will make a difference and that the fight will be worth it. Also, I'd just like to put a call out to any doctors here. Doctors for Refugees are overwhelmed by work with patients on Manus and Nauru, and we really do need support and help triaging. So if there's any doctors, please come and see me after, because we would love your support. Thank you. Great, Kate.